Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Riley, and in today's video, back in FM23 with another experiment. This time, we have broken the Premier League in England again, but this time a little bit different. We have made the top 10 clubs in England when it comes to market value, just overall value, and we have put them in administration. We have given them a billion pounds of worth of debt and have made them so that they can't have any transfers because of this debt. They are in financial ruin. So that's the top 10. I have the list here of what I use to calculate that via transfer market. And then with the bottom 10, I did the opposite. I injected a billion pounds into their balance. I gave them all the money in the world. And then we're gonna fast forward three seasons and see what happens. See what kind of results happen through this change in money because as we all know money talks money talks in literally everything but especially in football the expensive or not the expensive but the the rich clubs the ones with wealthy owners the ones that have that brand brand awareness they draw in the big players they have the reputation so what would happen in the premier league in england if those high brand very, very rich clubs had money problems. And those other ones that are lesser known, like Brentford, Nottingham Forest, Bournemouth, just to name a few, what would happen if their reputation went up and they had a lot of money? Let's find out. So this is the beginning of this uh, little series and we're with Manchester United. And right off the bat, after the club failed to pay the players wages, the Players Association have been forced to step in they have paid this month's wages, but they've also placed an embargo upon any transfers until the money is repaid. So the overall balance, that's I actually put a billion, negative a billion there, but they changed that for some reason. But the debt is where the issue is for sure. Transfer debt is massive, obviously, but the overall debt, 1.7 billion. How? How is that so much? It's so much money. Projections. Don't look good. Let's be honest. They do not look good. So, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Clubs like Manchester United, Man City, though, Liverpool, the ones that Chelsea, the ones that have money, they will be able to recover over time. But what will happen in the meantime? What will happen if they can't attract transfers anymore? They can't throw money at big names. As we know in this current transfer window, Chelsea is throwing money at literally every single player. What happens if they can't do that, though? So let's dive in and see what happens. We're going to fast forward to the end of this season and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Many months later. We're back after the first year and we are back with Manchester United. Figure we might as well stay consistent as we move forward. So first things first, let's see how things are going when it comes to the Champions League. Or not the Champions League, the Premier League. So it looks like Man City did win last time around, which is not a surprise because Rome was not built in a, a night or a day or whatever the saying is. It does take some time. And as we can see here, it's going to take a little bit of time, which is fine. So let's, can we see previous seasons? Why are we stuck on this season? Ah, there we go. So last season, Brighton, Leicester City, Nottingham Forest were relegated but they're probably gonna bounce right up because they are filthy rich surprising with brighton though man united finished ninth who else of the big clubs no one no real surprises wolves got top four that's that's something newcastle tottenham chelsea again all clubs that you expect at this point but what i am curious of is how or what happened with the money uh frankie de young went to Liverpool for 176 million pounds. How? Alvaro Morata went to uh, Tottenham for 71. Arsenal got. How? How did they afford all this? They had no money. Nah, nah, nah. I did not. This is not get broken already. How did they? How did they do all this? How did Liverpool bring in all this? How? Do they have all this money? Man United sold some players. Donny Vanebeek went to Fulham. 
Marcus Rashford went to Crystal Palace for $23 million. All right, I got to check out what's going on here at Manchester United. Transfer budget, original budget was 64. There's 16 million left. Uh, debt, their debt got like essentially wiped out. My guess is they got bought out. That's why. They got bought out. New owners here at Man United. Liam French, whoever the heck that is, with managing director Ian Finch. That makes a lot more sense. They have money again, sort of. More money. Because, let's see. They didn't bring anyone in. They did sell some players, though. Luke Shaw went to uh, Fulham for $2.9 million. Victor Lindelof went to Fulham for more money. Benny Bake went there. They got rid of a lot of dudes. Who else did they get rid of? Eric Bailly, not a surprise. Dalo went on a, went out on a free. Fred left on a free. Where did I see Marcus Rashford go? Yeah, 23 million pounds. That's it? Why? Were they desperate? They were desperate. They were very desperate, and he went on to have a good season there. That is crazy. But Man United ha does have some money now. Max Ahrens comes in for 45 and a half to replace Dalo. Nubel, who the heck is that? 26-year-old German player. That's why. Goalkeeper. That's interesting. Very interesting signing. Facundo Torre uh, from Uruguay. Comes in from the U.S. Interesting. Well, that's not what I expected whatsoever. I uh, definitely expected... Well, they got bought out. Who, who would have thought? So I am curious. I am, uh, yeah, I'm actually very surprised by how things went. They finished ninth. And from the looks of it, transfers, like, they, like, from the clubs. Let's see, Arsenal sold not, like, no one. Who did they sell this time? Again, like, no one. Did big clubs actually sell anyone besides Man United? Barcelona made a good profit there. Bayern Munich did, obviously. Okay, what about transfers in? Let's organize it from that standpoint. Transfers in. Arsenal spent money. They spent some money. Austin Villa spent a little bit. Bournemouth spent a, quite a bit of money. Again, not attracting a whole lot of big names, but names nonetheless. Brentford was able to bring in quite a few players. I uh, actually like Brentford's, what Brentford did. That's actually quite impressive. Uh, who else? Who else? Crystal Palace. Were they on the, they were on the poor side. They, they just missed the cut. That's why they got Marcus Rashford among other players. So I'm curious how it's going to go moving forward. Because also reputation is normal at these other clubs. But that reputation has increased for these not so popular clubs interesting yeah they got quite a few names as well kingsley coleman went to uh fulham from Bayern munich that is very funny manuel ugarte wow hola making moves the leads got in quite a few names indeed he went there okay okay yeah i'm surprised by how much liverpool spent that's mind-boggling who else? Not even Forrest spent a bunch of money, but obviously they still got the drop. Danny Alma went there. Southampton. Okay, okay. Anyways, that's... Tottenham was able to still spend some money. So it seems like Man United actually had the worst deal. I don't know why. Well, let's fast forward again to the next season. And, uh, well, I'll probably fast forward to the next two seasons and we'll go back and do some calculations. So stay tuned. Much, much, much later. So, all right, so we are back now. This is uh, August 1st, 2025. And they are struggling, that's for sure, because the original transfer budget was 687. Now it's 41 million. Next season will be minimum of zero. Don't understand that. They have a negative balance currently. Debt is better than it was, but there is definitely still debt. And... Well, let's just see how they did in the league. Why am I struggling so hard to find them? There they go. Overview. Okay, so as we know, sixth in real life, ninth. 
all the way down to 16th. Are you serious? But then up to 5th. That is wild. Okay, well, now I am curious. What happened? Who else finished? Brentford, Southampton, Everton, all finished in top seven. So this is what I find is really fascinating. I obviously impacted Man United with Newcastle, Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City. I believe Wolves were part of that as well. West Ham was as well. But what's funny is when I look at when I first add myself as a manager, financial status, okay, okay. Financial status for these top four here, rich, 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 rich. They recovered very quickly. But, but the domination that Man City has is not the same. 79 points, 77, 70, 69, Everton 64. Like they still won, but you know, could have been a lot more. Like even this, like there's a huge discrepancy, 87. 77, 57, 57, 57. Like, there's not a huge discrepancy between like the top seven and the bottom three, which is wild to think. So, anyways, it's uh like West Ham got relegated. That is wild, 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 wild. So they come back up. No, I guess they just got relegated. Crystal Palace did too. Leicester. So these are three clubs that all got impacted by the financial aspect of it all. So teams that just got promoted from there, Watford, Stoke, Norwich. Like the Premier League is different looking with notable absences of like West Ham and Leicester City, for example. But let's just dive into the transfer window that Man United has had recently. And, ooh, don't like that. Bruno Fernandes is gone. All right, so let's see. We last saw it here, so not a whole lot of surprises. Because the last we saw was Fred left on a free. A bunch of guys go out on loan. They spent a bunch of money. 98 versus 8.75. Sure. So this time around, transfers in only 38 and a half with 5 million out. But who were the guys that left? Was there anyone? De Gea left for 4 million. Aston Villa, too all teams Aston Villa took them interesting and that is pretty much it interesting uh guys they brought in your hey Sukina I don't know who that is Bayern Munich young guy yeah not a great player he's definitely a squad player which is interesting what am I missing here did Bruno Fernandes leave or no I thought I saw that he did, but maybe I was mistaken. Leave earlier. It doesn't matter. All right, so in this transfer window, so it's August 1st, they have brought in zero players because they have no money and have let Isaac Hansen Aaron leave for a lot of money. He's actually good? Question mark? 20 year old Norwegian? Good for him. That's good to know. He left for quite a bit of. Money, money, money. Brandon Williams left for 2.8. So, Bruno Fernandez must be in the squad because I did not see him leave. Why? Yeah, he's still here. He's still here. Contract is up at two more years. He's making a lot of money, though. All right. So, man, United has definitely suffered. That is for sure. But, it, yeah, they have definitely suffered. But when it comes to the rest of the top typical top six teams they seem to be the only ones uh obviously the likes of let's go to transfers uh other teams that have suffered are the ones that you would expect well man united was one of them crystal palace has also uh they got relegated who else um newcastle is suffering despite having rich owners they have brought in players but Anyways, let's see who who brought in players. Do we already see these ones? I think we might have Arsenal. I don't know. Arsenal, Arsenal spends money. They were still spending money. Telemans, Leicester was bleeding there. Aston Villa was able to bring in some money. So again, fascinating that Man United is one of the ones that was struggling. The likes of like. Bournemouth, for example, 
12th place finish, 16th place finish. So like typical for them, but like could be worse. Let's be honest. It could definitely be worse. Uh, Brentford, they have been spending quite a bit of money themselves and their finishes over the last little while. Seventh in the Premier League, 10th. So like they're a top half side, which again is great for them. Uh, looks like Brighton here though is... They went from 20th to 2nd, and then they finished in 9th. So at least they made a recovery, which is good for them. Burnley, they're not part of this. Not part of the experiment, I must say. Uh, Everton, they obviously had big money issues for anyone that has played with them recently. Uh, but they got some players. They've attracted talent. So where have they finished? They got all the way up to 5th, and then they went down to 15th. So, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary there, I guess. But, yeah, I, I do find it fascinating to see the impact that, like, look at that. Jao Felix went to uh, Liverpool for $160 million. Like, the, yeah, it, it's just crazy. Maybe part of it's the ownership that took control of Man United after the administration fiasco. They, they just don't have the money to keep up. They obviously don't look like they're uh, oil type of Man City or Newcastle. Newcastle is still struggling, to be fair, but still not the same. Man City is not really spending the money that they typically do either. But again, they're not having problems with competitions as they have won all of them but last time. So, so anyways, I hope you found this interesting. I know I sure did. So essentially, money does talk. But not in the way that you would think. I thought that the top four would have been impacted more severely than they did. And some of that's probably the game. But again, not everyone in that typical top six, seven teams was impacted poorly or good. They, it was kind of like a split down the middle with the likes of West Ham being relegated. Uh, Crystal Palace. No, Crystal Palace wasn't part of that, though. Were they? Were they? I don't know. West Ham which already said Leicester City, for example, Crystal Palace that got re relegated. Uh, Man United's been struggling. Newcastle's been struggling. And other clubs like Fulham are taking advantage. They're spending money. Uh, Southampton also spending money. And uh, yeah, it is it is fascinating. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. Like again, Southampton is spending some money. They got James Madison in that club too. Let's just see where they, I just want to see this. Seventh, sixth, like that's good. That's really good. Top half finishes for Southampton. That's that's really, really good. James Ward Prowse still there too. So, anyways, uh yeah, let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you want to see in the future, uh, whether it be a different series or series like this. Let me know. I am open to suggestions, but I hope you enjoyed it. So leave a like on this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>